Hi, welcome to Radicana Nutrition. I'm here to help you feel more nourished at all levels in your body, your mind, your heart, and soul. And if you're like most people, you probably don't even know why that means or what that could feel like because it's been so long or perhaps that you cannot remember, or perhaps you've never really experienced it. And that's okay. I can tell you that I didn't know what this was all about. I'm a registered dietitian and a nutritionist, and I learned everything about how to, everything about nutrition to learn what food our body needs to feel more nourished and prevent malnutrition and nutritional deficiencies. But even though I had a ton of knowledge on this topic, and this is the same with so many of the women and men that I work with, they they are very smart and educated on the topic of food and nutrition and they know all about those things that they should should do to feel better in their body but yet they just always feel like there's something missing and that's how I have felt for so long for many years for over two decades of my life felt like there was something missing something not quite right something broken something that prevented me from feeling whole because this is a little bit what feeling nourished at all of these levels feels like it feels like feeling whole feeling more like you and feeling more like you can be more of you so my name is Aglaé Jacob but you can call me AJ I actually live in Quebec, Canada, but I've been all over. I uh, lived in different countries and traveled to different continents. And um, through my journey, I've struggled with different physical health issues, including uh, digestive issues, uh, as well as hormonal imbalances like PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome and blood sugar imbalances and all of these things. And I've also experienced mental health issues. Um, I've had binge eating disorder for many, many years. And um, yeah, I was just feeling like there was always something missing. I was feeling like there was a void inside of me that I could never feel. And It's only when I started looking beyond the physical level and the body, which had been my main focus all of these years. Well, to tell you the truth, I became a health professional, a registered dietitian and nutritionist so that I could fix myself because I thought that if I could fix my health, my weight, my body, then everything would be all right. And then I would be happy. And then I could just move on to living my best life but guess what you may relate to my story and maybe you've been on a quest to try to find all that specific food or food combination or diet or supplement or whatnot that will help you feel better but it always seems to be beyond your grasp and I'm here to tell you that what has been missing for me and what maybe what is missing for you too been looking beyond the body it has been about looking and how I can better nourish my mind with more spaciousness and stillness especially this, those are nutrients that so many of us are deprived of it also has been about better nourishing my heart with learning how to feel those harder to feel emotions as well as those uh, what we may describe as more positive emotions because all of these emotions were just so overwhelming I didn't know what to do with them it was just so scary and I just didn't want to go there and I was trying to numb and distract myself from my emotions so that I would not feel anything at all and I would prefer to stuff myself with food to the point of physical discomfort because the physical discomfort of feeling bloated and heavy and uh, not being able to digest the large volume of food I had ingested was more comfortable than feeling any emotions at all. So it doesn't matter what kind of behaviors you have, but most likely most people have some kinds of things that they use and that they turn to to numb themselves 
from feeling, to distract themselves from feeling, to bottle up their feelings. So nourishing my heart was a lot about reconnecting with my emotions in a way that felt uh, safe and not scary. And now this is something to practice. And this is uh, something that has been one of my biggest teachers so that I could move on on my path of growing and healing and becoming a better version of me. Another very important nutrient for our heart that we, most of us have forgotten to nourish ourselves with besides feeling our emotions is gratitude. Gratitude. We often live in fear. We worry. We have all of these concerns, all of these things that we try to control and overthink and overanalyze. And that, that's when we live in our head. And we know we, we need to go down, travel that little space between our head and our heart so that we can look at what is instead of looking at what we're lacking and being in that scarcity mode, looking at what we do have and being able to cultivate the gratitude in our life, even for those tiny little things. But that's another very key nutrient that our heart is often very deprived of in this world where we're taught that we always need more and more and we need to buy this and that and all of these things to be happy but <laughs> we all know that's not the way it works and we all know that yeah we've never reached happiness by buying more things I'll, maybe for a few minutes or even hours but usually not for much longer than that and then besides learning how to better nourish my mind and my heart, I've also learned how to better nourish my soul, um, which had been craving very important nutrients like joy, being able to feel joy, being able to dream. Those are very important nutrients for our soul. And also feeling a sense of purpose and also feeling connection with a higher power. So those are crucial things that I've been learning about, that I've been practicing on a daily basis, and that I've been teaching uh, the people that have been working with me in the last years. And I want to do more of that. And if that's something that you're interested in learning more about, um, make sure you like my page, that you share this. Um, yeah, because nourishing ourselves at all levels, in our body, mind, heart, and soul, it's actually a revolutionary act in today's world because this is against everything we've been taught. This is against uh, everything we've been taught about listening to that expert and that guru of what we should do and should it do. It's about coming back to ourselves, centering ourselves, grounding ourselves inside of ourselves so that we know what we need to feel more nourished because nobody can tell us what we do need. We need to reconnect with ourselves to find that. And that's only through reconnecting with ourselves that we can finally feel that empty void inside of us. That's only when we do that, that we can stop feeling like there's something missing. And it's only when we do that, that we nourish ourselves at all levels, that we can feel nourished and therefore whole so and there's nothing selfish about this because as we bring more love to ourselves through nourishing it, ourselves at all levels it radiates outside of us it has changed my life it has uh helped people around me close and further away in a different way so there's definitely <laughs> nothing selfish about this if everybody in the world was doing the work to reconnect with themselves and nourish themselves at all levels i think that we would live in a much better world and it starts with yourself yourself sorry and it starts with you today so if you're interested in learning more about nourishment from the inside out in your body mind heart and soul Please uh, stay tuned uh, because I love posting here and on Instagram. Just look for my handle, Radikara Nutrition. I look forward to learning more about you. Send me a little message to tell me about uh, how you found me or comment below. I'd love to hear more about your story and what nourishment at all levels mean for you. Sending you so much love and many 
blessings. Take care.